back YouTube. So, um, basically, this big video is gonna be how to throw a cast net. For those of y'all who do not know, I thought I would just go ahead and do it because since I taught my friend Coleman, which y'all have seen in a lot of the videos, um, I taught him how to throw a cast net in like two or three minutes, and he was throwing the five foot one. So basically, this is a five foot, uh, uh, Bess Sea Green, and I'm about five foot, so yeah. So basically, you have the rope, right? You could just do this. I don't like it. That could slip right off. So what I do is I take it, have the loop, okay? I put my hand through, grab this, pull this up, and this loop that I just created right here is where I stick my hand through and cinch it down. And when you're done, it should look something like that. And that, my friends, is not coming off. So once you have that part done, you're just gonna just wrap it up in, in your hand like so. Bam. So bam. Bam. And you do that until you get to the yolk. Now, there's multiple names for this. I call it the yolk. It can be called the crown. Once you have it like this, you're gonna go down pretty much almost halfway, not all the way down though. And you never want this to be like, you never want that to be below this. If you do, it's not gonna flow. So I like mine pretty much about, right about there. And once I have it throughout one, I'll take the closest piece of rope, kinda do that, and if your thing's tangled, make sure it's un tangled, you can do that if you like. Once I have it like that, I'll take it, put it in my, my mouth, right? Just like that. Now, when, when you throw it, make sure you will let go. I just like to use my teeth, like the them, my front teeth, just to grab the rope, not the netting. Hmm? And then, I'm going to come down. I'm going to get the side furthest away from me. I'm not going to grab this side, that's only inside, I'm gonna grab this side right here, okay? And I'm gonna get it, like, right about that, and make sure that's stopped moving, because if, if it's not stopped, it might interfere, and from there, you'll swing it on out. So, I'm gonna go put on the he head cam for, for y'all, and do the throw, and then, I'm thinking about just going over the whole steps again and maybe a little bit slower. So, let's see. Bam! Bam! Alright, y'all are on. Now, same thing, put it in my mouth and grab the further side and make sure it's slapped and throw it. And that's why you want to let go from your mouth. That actually hurts some. But your throat would not look like that unless if you held on with your mouth. So let's do the same thing. It's been a while, okay? It's been like a couple of months. Like, by that I mean like two or three. Not really, probably like one or two. And just like that. Not bad of a circle, huh? That's what we call a pancake. The first one I did, that's what we call a taco. Because it just goes flat. <laughs> that would be a taco. The one I just threw was a pancake. Vroom, vroom, motorcycle. Shucker loud. Alright, let's see. Let's go again. Bam. Pancakes. Alright, so, now that I've shown you how you throw it, it's just easy, basically all you're gonna, um, I'll, I'll do it one last time, 
you just get it in your mouth and grab the other side. And when you're th throwing it right, you're going to want to let go of everything. Even the rope. Just let it all go, okay? Oh. Put y'all up. Over here. Hope I can get a pretty good view. how you get it basically the whole length of the rope out there got to get another pancake i will do not a spin this time i'll just stay on the floor throw it straight. I'll spray it with that it looks like when you're throwing it straight. It's not really that good. So, when you throw it, you never want to throw it straight. You always want to at least get some height. So, as you all see in all the throws I have done, Okay, I have gone up. Okay, don't go up; it might not open. I'm gonna do a straight throw and show y'all what that looks like. See, look where I just. I don't know that that's in camera. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not really the best. So you want to get that air. When you get the air, it opens up a lot. So that was a straight throw, and now we're going to do an upward throw. Now, that is what you call a pancake. So, basically, yeah, that's how you would throw a cast net. I'm gonna push them up here. Alright, so if you haven't already, subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you never miss another video. Ugh. I wish Coleman was in his video, but for quarantine and COVID purposes, it's not. Alright, so I hope y'all have learned how to throw th a cast net. If you haven't already subscribed, turn on those notifications. Not this vi video, I'm also going to do one where I'm actually throwing it in the water as well. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.